Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the Compact CQ57 laptop. We will go all the way down to the motherboard. Uh, we won't remove the LCD assembly, but uh, you can always remove that uh, with just a couple more screws. Okay, get started. We want to remove these uh, bottom panels here. This will give us access to the wireless module, um, the memory modules, and the hard drive. Now you can leave the memory modules in place, there's no need to take those out. Um, you will need to remove the hard drive and the wireless module though. Uh, to remove the hard drive, just pull up on the data cable, that will release it from the motherboard. And you got a couple screws here. Once you get those screws out, the hard drive just lifts up. Set that to the side and we will remove the wireless module which is uh, connected with one screw on the motherboard and we've got two uh, antenna cables uh, those need to come off as well now we'll work on removing all the screws from the bottom of the case you've got uh, the main ones that you can see there um, and then there's also a couple screws under those panels that we just removed. Uh, make sure you get all those. Um, those are going to be holding on uh, to the keyboard um, which we will need to uh, take off as well. Now that we've got all the screws out, we can remove the CD-ROM. That just basically slides out. And that's it for the bottom of the case. Next is the keyboard. Now the keyboard lifts from the top and pulls towards you, and there's little clips on the bottom that uh, slide into uh, a little section that holds it in place. Um, one thing you can do, you can either kind of pry up on the top side of the keyboard or you can get a smaller screwdriver where you removed one of those screws and push on it and that will actually push it up through where you can kind of grab it and there's little clips at the top that hold that in place uh, as you can see here I had a little trouble with uh, with one side there um, what you can do is just kind of get uh, a little a little flat head and uh, kind of wedge it in there at the top and that'll release that clip Once the keyboard is released, go ahead and remove the connection here with the, where the ribbon cable connects to the motherboard. And you also have three other ribbon cables here that need to be removed. Remove the single screw that holds the palm rest assembly to the bottom of the case. Now we can actually remove the palm rest assembly. It is attached to the bottom of the case with little clips all the way around. Just get you a little flathead screwdriver and work your way around. Uh, once you release a few of them, it removes pretty easily the rest of the way. Just kind of pull up on it gently. And you have a couple cables here on the motherboard, we need to remove those. Your 
LCD cable pulls straight up just tuck that to the side there and then also your webcam cable as well Now remove the two screws holding the motherboard to the bottom of the case. And we also need to disconnect the cable that goes to the DC jack. It plugs into the bottom side of the motherboard there. Just lift up that into the motherboard and pull it out. At this point you can pull the motherboard out on the top left hand side uh, you will notice that the hinge kind of sits on top of it a little bit um, you can get the motherboard without actually removing the hinges um, if you wanted to at that point you could take off uh, the couple screws on those hinges and remove the LCD assembly uh, but that is pretty much it hope y'all enjoyed if y'all have any questions post them in the comments and thanks for watching